Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. So, right off the bat, if you've been keeping Ants for a while, you'll be saying, wait, how does he have two Tetramorium Queens in their founding stage in late March? And honestly, the answer for that is the reason that Tetramorium are a great beginner species. So, last year, yes, last year, I caught these queens, and I had raised them to have their nanitics, and then I moved, and all of my ants died except for my Aphenogaster pickia, or so I thought. I thought that all of my ants were dead except for the Aphenogaster pickia. Their nanitics had died. But I guess the queens didn't. So they were in a shoebox in a moldy, dry test tube, unfed, unhibernated for months. And this year when I was cleaning out test tubes, I dumped out one of the tubes into my garbage. And to my surprise, there was a queen crawling around in my garbage. I couldn't believe it. So... I got them into their new test tubes, and I'm caring for them as best as I can. Uh, this one here, she has eggs. I'm super happy about that. She has eggs. Look at that. There's eggs. That one, she's been a little bit more picky. She seems to spend a lot of time on that cotton ball there, which tells me she wants out and she's yet to lay any eggs. She may not ever lay eggs, which it's all right. I understand it was my my mistake, big mistake. I don't know how I could make that mistake. But I mean, think about it. Any type any ant that you could leave for months in a dry, moldy test tube, unfed, unhibernated, and they're still alive and they still have a chance to lay eggs like this one did. I mean, come on. That's got to tell you, this is a hardy species, and it's definitely great for beginners, because you can make a big mistake like I did, and still have a chance to found a colony. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do today is just give them a little bit of sugar water, and then get them back in their dark drawer, because I, I really hate exposing my ants to light like this, but I just had to share with you how my mistake might actually be okay somehow some way all right so where is it i've got some sugar water some sugar water in this test tube which i'll suck out with my pipette here and i also need this q-tip to just clean out this beginning entrance of their nest just to make sure it doesn't get too cluttered. It looks like there actually wasn't much there. But when I had them last year and their nanitics came, I hadn't cleared out their nest at all. And once the nanitics came, they just totally got so much cotton in front of their nest entrance, it was impossible for me to feed them. And that was one of the reasons that I ended up thinking that they were all dead. That's one of the reasons the nanitics died, and I just thought the queens were dead too. Because all my other ones had died. There was no reason for me to think that they were still alive. I suppose I should have definitely checked better. Alright, so there we go. Got a little sugar water down there. Let's see if I can get a, a nice close-up shot of the eggs quick. If we'll focus, yeah, there we go. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six eggs it looks like. And there's the queen. I believe they're Tetramorium immigrants. Uh... You can correct me if I'm wrong, but 
another thing that I'm going to be doing with these is I need to get fruit flies for them. I had some and I gave them each one when I first put them in their tubes, but I haven't given them any since. Come on, go back there. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. And just wiping the area where the last sugar water was and where any cotton might build up just to make sure that any build up is taken care of. And then stuff the cotton ball back in. See, I'll get you a little close-up of this girl, too. There she is. No eggs yet for this girl, right? Or are those eggs? <gasps> no, they're not eggs. Dang it. I thought there were some eggs down there. Hopefully, eventually. Alright, I'm gonna get her back into her dark, cozy drawer. Hopefully not stress her out too much. And hopefully she will start laying eggs soon. But yeah, that's pretty much my reasoning for why Tetramorium are one of the best beginner species, because you can make a terrible mistake like I did, and there's still potential for them to become a colony of thousands. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos and please like and subscribe.